boycotting is not an option is because there's not enough black businesses yes. there are not right. there's not enough black gas stations car washes for me to survive off of yeah. period talking about black i don't even consider yeezy a black, a black owned because business they're under because, adidas. because yeah, it's yeah. under because it's right. under adidas which is right but virgil had virgil is virgil ablo like he's virgil I, just that's because he has just so because he has collaborations with louis vuitton or with nike that the doesn't take away from his, his, his business. Now, is what, black. what I'm saying is, I'm not saying I don't I don't support. Vir I'm support. We're talk. I look at it as supporting Virgil as an individual. Mm -hmm. I do not consider the off white off brand, white brand because it's not a black owned business from yes, top to it bottom. It is. If, top, if, if, top top bottom, if Zenobia white. owns, if Zenobia owns for the culture and she's Ghanaian, that's her brand. If Virgil owns Off White, I that's his brand. I, I, that, I, that's, I, the I, that's the real issue. It comes down to we don't value other black businesses and give them unquestioned mm -hmm. yeah. promotion, that's unquestioned so right. loyalty. It's, it's about the. It's not so much the quality of the product, but it's the quality of our mindset. When you walk into a Bird Off Goodman or you walk into Barney's and, and you're you're attacked, your your mindset is to get the Gucci or you know get those brands. You have an expectation, but you know there's a few things that you're never gonna do. You're never gonna ask for a discount. You're never gonna question, um, or you're never gonna bring some type of reference to why you should get this for lower. Or you're never gonna question the brand in general. If something were to go wrong, you might make a customer complaint very quietly. You might email. You might do what you have to do, but you're not gonna go over the top. When it comes to black owned businesses or businesses owned by people you know, people want to throw in, that's my homie, I know them from you know such and such place, so I deserve a discount. And when something is wrong, we scream to the top of our lungs the negative um, aspects about that business, which a detractor from a business is way more valuable than a promoter because when people are happy, like those customer surveys, when you're really happy about how you felt about in the store or you're okay with the service, do you ever go home and fill out the survey? But as soon as you're mad and you're angry, you have to tell the whole world, oh, don't ever go to this place, or I hate this waitress, or I hate this place, I hate this piece of clothing. People will rush to the internet or rush to surveys to, you know, and rush to the world to complain, but to congratulate, people like to whisper those. Let me explain to you why that is, right? People that don't know you will support you, you more. faster than people yeah. that, that actually know you, that have known you, because it's just like, yo, your stuff is legit dope. People and, it's people and that's what people are starting era. That's this right. era, though. That's this era. Right. There's so much and, jealousy, yeah. and there's so much envy, and that's why the support isn't there. And we always say, oh, black love this, and yeah. black this, black. But we don't, a lot of times, we don't support each other. Where does he come from, though? Where does he come from? Where does he come from? I didn't come it's here. A when I started, but where does it come from? It comes her, from her. like the divide and conquer mindset that has been drilled in us for years. And we as black people have to be conscious that that exists and start working the on it. That's our problem. Yeah. Yeah. We just okay. talk, 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 talk. Yeah, black love, support, 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 support. But how do we act on it? Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Like we're, we're, and we know this. Mm -hmm. We talk about it all the time, but what actions do we put behind? I'm gonna challenge myself. I just recently dropped Spotify so that I can pick up Tidal. Why? Mm -hmm. Because because I got to be about it, mm -hmm. right? If right. Jay Z, right. Right. right? If J just because Tidal go to a black hair <laughs> salon, you know you're gonna get us great quality because black people in salon, black salons, they do it up. They make it wonderful. They make it glamorous. So that's what we can expect. Now, if you want a black owned fashion designer, you and you want that kind of respect, come from the gate like that. Like yes, I am yes, of quality. Respect. What's lacking in some black owned establishments, brands, is the fact that they're not putting in the same kind of quality, the same kind of effort and customer service in order to bring up their brand and for people to, you know, want to spend the same kind of money they're spending on Yeezys, well, that's a black brand, but let's just say Adidas or Nike or Marc Jacobs. Um, I know a lot of black establishments don't have that kind of money from the gate, but if you're not set your standards like this, how do you expect to gain that kind of money? Everybody be shopping. No, you know the reason why we don't question hair salons or haircuts? Because we know, we, we unquestioning that that's, that's walking around, oh, he got a nice haircut, he got yeah, nice hair. We know black people could do hair. When black people are trying to get out of things that people think that they can't do, mm -hmm. people question it because you're trying to excel mm -hmm. past what, oh no, you can't do that. Yes. You know why? Because this person, oh no, you can't do that. 
You're not allowed to do that. So when you go up to them, they can have the please, utmost right. design. Please, please. They're, they're, they're carrying their clothes. You know their clothes are nice. But it's also, it's, all it's a, a mindset, fact. Yeah. One also, out of probably three, four, somebody's going to come and dare ask, can I get a discount or can, can you do this? Yeah, you know why? You know why? Because it's not, I'm going to tie it back into what he said. Because they feel like they know you. Mm -hmm. They, oh, you know what? Like, we grew up we together. Came up together. We yeah, came up together. Stop like, trying to act Hollywood. Stop trying to act Hollywood. The so first crazy. time that you start me, to separate. F-R-O-A-U-D. You are a fraud and I will not support your business. Stop copying and pasting and calling yourself a designer. It's not right. Some people, so. we, we, I think sometimes we have to realize that with some black business owners, their quality is not there yet. Right. Mm -hmm. And if your quality is not there, I'm sorry. I don't care. Me, my mindset, mm -hmm. I'm not supporting you just because, because you're, you're a black, black. business. Mm -hmm. I'm going to support you. Yeah. Do you think I'm going to support you. Hold on. I'm going to support you yeah. because what you're doing mm -hmm. has good quality. Right. Yeah. What you're doing is something of value. We as black people need to understand that just because you are a black business, that's not... I'm not obligated to support you just because you're black. You need to be professional. Your customer service has to be on point. Everything that you do as a business owner, it has to be calculated. That doesn't make sense. Also, they don't cancel yeah. these right. high end brands that yeah. don't want us to even wear their stuff. Tommy right. Hilfiger has said, I don't even like black people. I but people still wear their stuff, exactly. though. I'm not sure why we're still wearing brands um, or clothes from designers that have said, like, racist things um you know for instance i can use like dolce and cabana as an example prada um tommy hilfiger like these are brands that have said things not great things about black people and yet people still spend thousands of dollars on dolce and cabana um slippers and belts and like it's like there's so many options so are you saying that we should boycott them i do think that brands who don't want us to wear their stuff brands who don't even like our skin our color we should boycott them yeah, why are we agree. wearing them but at the yeah. same time what i am but milan you yeah. shaking your head no right yes. Pro, don't change cabana <laughs> Let's, they don't like black people. You but still they, gonna, have, you but still, they have black people, right? It's, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. No, 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 you guys no, think about the big picture. This is what brings division. This is what brings division. No, that should tell you something right there. I'll pay you ten dollars an hour to not even yeah, I'll pay you ten dollars an hour to not even yeah, I'll pay you and you're gonna you're gonna forget. How many black businesses employ black people? All of them. Why do they employ black people? Because they don't want to be employed. 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 I'm a black person. I'm a black business. I only hire black people. My photographers are black. My videographers is black. My models are black. I hire black people. But this people. is what brings division. Like, look at what happened. Okay, but how is that division? Look at, I'm let a me black give, business. Let me give you a, good, let me give you a good example. Like, son, like, Milan, <laughs> you're my boy. But, like, bro, you have to understand these big corporations, they don't want black people to, they barely want them to wear their clothes. They just want their money. They don't want to give them the jobs. There's a whole thing called a diversity scorecard. This is legal. Like I said, I used to work at Abercrombie and Fitch and I'll call them out any and every single time because they literally tried to brainwash me. I was an assistant manager and I was the hiring and firing manager. Had 150 associates under my, just under me by myself. And they literally have boxes saying you have to hire this amount of people, this amount of black people, this amount of Hindu people, this amount of white people, this amount. And I literally always, like, I went above and beyond, of course, for the black people, but, like, probably 98% of Abercrombie & Fitch and Hollister's only have white people and they'll meet the minimum of black people. I used to work at Abercrombie & Fitch and I had to quit because they the standard, like I understand the European standard, but they're black. Literally, in the employee book, I can't have my natural hair. Cannot. I can't wear cornrows. Cannot. I can't wear, literally, Cannot. like and this is me at orientation. So why would solution. I have to? We need to boycott businesses that don't respect us yes. because mm -hmm. Our money matters, exactly. and if black people decide, like I like like I was yeah. saying, it has to be a unified front, though. If black people decide, yo, I'm not wearing that anymore. It's a wrap. It's done. Al done. Pastel Over. used to be popping. Over. Yeah. If we use the black dollar in a very responsible way, we will have so much power in this country. We decide what's cool and what isn't cool. So if we decide that your brand is no longer beneficial to us as black people, and we don't want to wear your brand anymore. That's it, you're done.